Tastables recipe, live up to the name, and which one is better. So today we're gonna be looking at the new recipe. Better. And what's what better than being better than Hershey's? Well, how about being better than everyone? The best on earth. And from that day forward, we worked tirelessly. Like I'm talking barely even sleeping. I traveled from country to country, chocolate factory to chocolate factory. Tried out hundreds of formulas, which eventually led us to this. The best tasting chocolate ever made by mankind. Supposedly better than a Hershey's. This is my old Feastables chocolate that. bar. And as you know, it tastes better than a Hershey's bar. And so today we have a couple different candy bars, including Feastables bars. The new recipe. We have milk chocolate, milk crunch, the peanut butter. Everybody's favorite works well with chocolate. And the bars that we will be going up against we will have Feastables go up against at the beginning is Cadbury. There you go, Lind. And I could only find the caramel of it, but Giardelli's. So we're gonna be checking out basically the taste, the consistency, the break. Does chocolate sound good when it breaks? And then we're gonna be kind of testing the I guess, like, overall, could you keep eating this, and would it be good? Like, if you keep eating this, or would you be like, eh, I can only have a bit. pan over that Feastables is a bit smaller than the rest um, in terms of height and width <laughs> from the side view perspective Feastables is I would say about the same actually these bars are about the same, like, main size. Cadbury wins out um, in the height, or at least it feels like that. But not, not by much. Interesting. All right, and so we're gonna kind of start with the, we'll start with Cadbury first because Cadbury on size is like the third uh, or is like second to the smallest being feastable so far. Uh, Cadbury has basic ingredients, milk chocolate, vegetable oil, stuff like that. Some artificial flavoring. So if you're not a fan of that. So this is what a bar of Cadbury looks like. This is a bit of broken off. Smells quite good. Let's hear if there's a break. So that was a decent break. Um, we are going to now do a bit of a taste test and see if this... Or see what, I guess what I would rate it base review I should preface I have a bit of water but so here's Cadbury like I think I think when it's when something is above a five it's like you could sit down and, and have a bit of it. I would probably put Cadbury like... Probably like a, a 6.9 or something like that. Um, which isn't me trying to be harsh. I just think that 10 is perfection. Cadbury is like smooth. But... The chocolate doesn't have any pronounced like... 
like I it tastes like a lot like I guess just chocolate like it like the closest thing I could see is if you had like a Hershey's Kiss because a Hershey's Kiss is kind of like a bit different than the Hershey's Bar for some reason like they don't really taste the same it tastes kind of like a Hershey's Kiss um, so if you were gonna have like Cadbury like itself I would put it there and I actually like Hershey's Kiss so the next bar we're trying out is everybody's favorite Wow. So, <laughs> first smell, quite uh, delectable. That's the first smell. It's very, um, very rich smelling. It smells more chocolatey, funny enough, than um, cat the Cadbury bar. Let's see how this one fares against uh, Cadbury and the rest. Let me quick... Take a swig of some water. Bar did have artificial flavoring. So it had artificial flavoring to Lind Bar. Um, see ya. Uh, here's the break. Oh, wow. Nice break. And the taste. Wow. It's definitely one of the bars that stands out. Not, not like a very, like it's, it is very un unique. Kind of has like a hot chocolate aftertaste if you ever tasted like hot chocolate. Smooth, has a good break. Easily, like, 7.5. Yeah. This is definitely something that you couldn't, you could not only just have on your own, but you could, like, mix with something else um, easily. And it would, it would have a very pre predominant flavor. Wow, that's, that's quite good. <laughs> I'm a chocolate person, so to to reach that far, this is quite good. So this is the lint bar. So we've come to a big one, Giardelli. It, it, it is one of the chocolate brands, to say the least. So it comes silver sealed, mix of ingredients. Um. Uh, But not anything too crazy. Godiva chocolate, or the uh, Giardelli, I mean. The Giardelli chocolate does not seem to have any artificial flavors. It seems to have natural flavoring. So let's, let's open this and then see what we have here. Wow. So, start it off. If you've ever had Giardelli, <laughs> um, they are good. Nice breaks and everything to them. I haven't had a Giardelli bef uh, bar before. But it looks very much like the miniature wrapped candies. It has the little Giardelli logo um, on each segment. Nice chocolatey smell. Kind of similar to the Lint Bar smell, if you're very much a chocolate like smell person. And then let's see the break. It's got an okay break. Nothing spectacular. If it had a really nice break, it could really influence where I would place it, but. So this is it. 
Just like in the wrapping. See if it tastes like it's just in the wrapping. Decent smell. Very rich. It's not something you could have like over and over again in one sitting and at least taste wise it's for you. right in your face. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think... I don't think... Like, I would say that the chocolate's taste was like a 7.6. Not too much better than, than Lynn's, but it would be brought down by like 3 or 4 because it's not something you could just keep having. Like, just one of that was good for me. Maybe in like 10 minutes or, or 20, I'd be like, oh man, I want another the Giardelli, but it was because how prominent it was. And then the final one. The Feastables Milk Chocolate. The new recipe. The old recipe was supposed to be pretty good. Uh, better than Hershey's. See how this stacks up. Will it reach an 8? Will it reach a 9? Will it be just okay? No silver wrapping, but it's decent chocolate presentation right there. When you open it, it says uh, Mr. Beast right there, so you can see that kind of. And we are going to have a, uh, a taste test. By the way, I should preface the uh, ingredients um, are all natural like a couple ingredients in total mainly chocolate sugar milk cocoa butter I'm not seeing any specifically like artificial yeah the soy so the Mr. Beast candy bar everybody's been waiting for the Feastables. Let's see the break. Oh, it's definitely a better break than Giardelli. <laughs> Giardelli was all right. I like how it comes like this. Very uh, easy to break off segments for other people. It's not like too big. We're going to go for this taste test. See how it is. Oh, wow. Whoa. Sweeter after notes. Wow. I've had chocolate from Canada before. And it's less m mixed up with stuff over there. It tastes kind of like chocolate from there. Much more realistic. <laughs> Much more chocolatey. Not like it's being pushed with something else. Wow. Let me have one more just to really... Really identify this. <laughs> Man, huh, that's pretty good. <laughs> so it's, this is tied with lint for e like eatability. I could see like eating like half of this bar in one sitting. Yeah, I could see eating half of this bar in one sitting. Very similar to Lynn. But the taste. That's like. It's almost there like an 8.4 or 5. Yeah, no, this is probably the best chocolate out of Giardelli, Lynn, and Cadbury. 
definitely better than Hershey's. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> this is pretty good. Like, tastes tastes like legit chocolate. If you ever have chocolate from like the country that really like makes them, it is it is like very cocoa-y, very cocoa powder. This is that kind of thing. Very cocoa-y. It is more chocolate than regular kind of like it's like milk chocolate but somewhat dark it's i would have to say that this is like an 8.6 <laughs> so the feasibles wins against <laughs> the, the other brands right there wow this is quite good <laughs> i'm gonna have to save me some of that I mean, uh, of course, all this chocolate will be eaten after uh, this video, but... Wow, that's good. Um, and we can go on to the other Feastables bars. So, we have peanut butter and then the milk crunch. And we're going to see what my favorite is, what I would rate those as well. Um, they both have just about the same ingredients, except, like, one more thing. Like, peanut butter has peanuts... Milk Crunch, I think, also has, like, maybe pe- oh, yeah, like, maybe, like, Rice Krispie Treat style of some. I see, uh, crisp rice on there, so. Friends, we'll do the Milk Crunch first, because milk chocolate that you know, we were just having. Let me quick take a sip. Wow. Oh, that was Crazy. So this is milk crunch. Um, you can see the uh, what is it called? The name right there, that milk crunch. Um, you can see that the back isn't uh, smooth because it's got the crunchiness. We'll do a bit of a break and see if it's good against lint. a break to it they're probably the best break so far and we'll give this like a taste test it's you know kind of as you expected like the uh, original bar but not big on the crunch I think the crunch kind of takes away from the um, original taste of the chocolate. I'll probably put it at like a 8.3. Not up there with the main milk chocolate bar. I mean, it's good. It's definitely... I would rather taste that comparably... Definitely to Gerardelli. I don't know. Maybe Lint was a bit better than Gerardelli. Gerardelli was just like... So rich. And so... So in your face that it was kind of like... Mm, kind of kind of made you want to have like a... It toned down a bit. Because you were like... Eh. And then we're gonna see the peanut butter and chocolate. So here it is. Oh wait, come on, there it is. This is how it looks. And we're gonna see how it breaks. Oh, because it's filled with peanut butter, there isn't isn't too much of a break like yeah if you if you got that that's like the best break I could get well, we're going to taste see how it uh, fares 
is this going to be better? I mean, it's, it's good. I would, I'm not big on the peanut butter combination. I think it just doesn't help it all out too, all too much. It tastes good. Probably be like, maybe like a 7.9 or something. I'm not entirely sure. Because the chocolate's wanting to work, it's like fighting. But it's not... Like the peanut butter... Like I... I think the chocolate just... It, I think they use more darker chocolate for this. And I'm not much of a dark chocolate person. I think that's really what it is. I think otherwise it tastes... It's probably like a... <laughs> 9 out of 10, really, legitimately. If you were a dark chocolate person that likes peanut butter. Because that's, that's what it gives me, but it gives me, like, real chocolate. Real, real chocolate, so. Yeah. So, all in all, these are the ratings. My favorite out of all of them was the milk chocolate uh, Feastables bar. This is pretty good. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. He had so many people testing in that video. Hey, Mr. Beast. This is pretty good. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, just a weird video I wanted to do. Oh, man, this is good. <laughs> this is definitely taking, taking the place for, like, one of my number one chocolates. If it could beat out those other ones. Mmm, this was good. Anyways, peace.